What can fall foliage tell us about a forest's history? In the forest, aspen trees are scar tissue. And by this, I mean that they always come in the aftermath of a relatively large disturbance. If you go outside right now, and you look for these pools of yellow foliage. That yellow foliage is aspen. And where the aspen is, is a place where there was a major disturbance. Aspen trees are one of our shade intolerant tree species, which just basically means that they need like total sunlight in order to establish and to grow. Like most shade intolerant tree species, aspen trees are here for a good time, not for a long time. They're these fast growing and relatively short lived tree species. If you're in the woods and you see an aspen, like white birch, it'll almost certainly be a generation of aspen, not just one. And if you were to take a tree core or count the rings on the stump, the number of tree rings would be equal to the number of years ago that something major happened to the forest. It was logging that removed most or all of the canopy trees. It was a pretty catastrophic natural disturbance. It was something that would have created conditions that aspen can thrive in, which is like no shade. If it wasn't a natural disturbance and it wasn't logging, it was the number of years ago that where you're standing was a pasture because aspens can sometimes establish in these agricultural fields as they go fallow. So if you miss this window, when we can see the aspen trees because their foliage is bright yellow, there will be one other time you can see it, which will be early in the spring when their leaves are just coming out and you'll see all these splashes of this like bright electric green across the landscape and that will be where the aspen is. There are so many moments like this when just for a moment, if you're looking in the right way, at the right time, you can witness something remarkable or you can learn something profound about a forest's history.